Hi there. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use Adobe Stock to download images or other good stuff that you might need for your InDesign projects. I'll also introduce you to two other excellent sites from where you can download not just images, but videos and other goodies as well. So let's get started. To come to Adobe Stock, type in stock.adobe.com and it shall bring you to this site. Now, suppose we're looking for images of nature. So I type in nature in here and hit enter and it will populate all the images it has in store for us. I really like this one here. So I have the option of checking the preview or straight away buying it from Adobe. Since I've subscribed to Adobe Creative Cloud, I do get to download perhaps 10 images for free each month, but I'm not sure about this one. Anyway, let's click on this image and it shall populate this information for us. I can either save it directly to my library, which is the best option, or I can download a preview and I also have the option to open this image straight on an app. And then there are two different licenses available. So I'm going to click the save to library option and you'll find a pop-up notification that says that it is saving the image straight to my library. And the best part is whether I'm using InDesign or Illustrator or Photoshop, I should be able to access this image on any of those. So let's head to InDesign and go to CC libraries. It's this one here. If you don't see it here, you can go to window and you shall find it sitting under it. All right, let's go to graphics option and there you'll find your image sitting comfortably. Just click and drag it to the document. It's a large image, but in a compressed or reduced quality. Let's make it smaller. You can find that it has a watermark of Adobe stock. That's because I haven't purchased this image yet. Once I click on this icon, it will be taken off of my monthly balance that I have. And in that case, the watermark and the image code will be gone and the image resolution will also be restored. This option works best if you have subscribed to the Adobe Creative Cloud and it makes synchronizing easier between the site and your own library. This site also has other good stuff like audio templates, 3D and some free content as well. Let's explore 3D. And since the word nature was already sitting in the search bar, it populated everything it had on nature. Let's try something else. Let's type in food and you can see what different items it has on food and they're all 3D. Some have free licenses and some are paid. Let's go to the free option here. These are a few images that you get for free under food. Let's type beaches. And you get these many options here. So it's a very nice resource for you to try. Another excellent site is pixels.com. Here you'll find free images, videos, leaderboards, etc. posted by photographers and people from all walks of life. Even you can join in and contribute if you have nice high quality pictures. You click an image here and then click this arrow and it shall tell you what different resolutions of this image are available. Pick your choice and hit free download and your image shall be downloaded and do read this notification. It would be best if you set a link back to this photo and they have a copy option here for you to click and paste wherever you're planning to use this image. You can follow the photographer or even make donations for his effort. You can even check out video clips from this tab here. Mostly you'll find short clips of 15 to 20 seconds or perhaps a little more but all the images or videos are of excellent quality and resolution. The last site for today is pixabay.com. It works much like pixels.com. Click an image and then click free download button, which shall give you the different options of resolution the image is available in. Pick your resolution and hit download. You'll get a notification encouraging you to register if you want to avoid the capture pop-up. So just click on the checkbox stating that you're not a robot, unless you are one, and hit download. And your image shall be ready for you. No watermarks, no royalty, no charges, and excellent quality. Pixabay also offers vector graphics, illustrations, and videos as well. Let's pick vector graphics and type in hammer couldn't think of something else. Let's click this one and then click free download. 
And you can see that these are the different dimensions and formats this vector is available in. So some of these can easily be used in logo designing or illustration, etc. You can also join in and upload your vectors or images or videos should you want to. There are various other sites as well, but the ones discussed are by far the best ones. Alright guys, that concludes our session, so I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Goodbye.